Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is How Fast. It's a really warm Friday afternoon. Uh, we're going to have a busy weekend. And I wanted to get started by taking the, the cap off of Judy here. And I want to get this thing painted. It's, it's you know, as much as I love the blue and black, or black and blue, and she's looking beat up when she's wearing this. I, I'd like to just put make this spray bomb this thing black so that at least matches the truck. I got a couple cans, uh, rattle cans, so we're gonna, I'm gonna see if I can round up some of the guys. Uh, I don't know what I can do. What do you think I could do to get a couple of the guys out here to help me move this thing? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a couple of the guys and we're gonna, we're gonna pick this thing up and we're gonna put it down right here and then we're gonna prep it up for some paint. And then we're gonna pull uh, the rear passenger side wheel off Dudgy, and we will see exactly what that brake component is called that we need to get from All Star, and we're gonna put that on order. Unfortunately, guys, this is kind of the world we live in right now. Um, there has been a lot of shipping delays. I've ordered a lot of parts, but things are not coming very quickly. So uh, we're gonna make the best of it. We're gonna keep moving forward like we always do, but I appreciate, I appreciate you guys if you just sit tight and uh, let, you know, I'll let you know that things are on order and they're on their way, and uh, we'll see some stuff in here shortly. So let's get started moving that cap. Hey, hey, hey! Hmm. I've managed to round up the guys here, so we're gonna give this a go. We're gonna try and get uh, Judy's topper down onto the ground here without absolutely destroying it. See what happens. We'll see what happens. <laughs> There it is, on the ground. Thanks to the guys, guys. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Now we have uh, topless Judy. Looks good. Wait a minute. You said you brought something, didn't you? Maybe. What did you bring? Let's find out. Let's go see. Oh. What do we have here? Yes. Another sheet of aluminum. The last sheet we need. This is the last sheet. This is going to close off between the body and the door panels so that the driver, i.e. me, and the passenger don't get absolutely showered with stones. So, got to get this into HQ. Some one last piece that's gonna fill the last gap. Perfect. Thank you. No problem. Okay, guys, fellas have taken off. Big help. Thanks. Big shout out to those guys. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks, Church. I appreciate you guys' help all the time. So here we have Judy's topper. And uh, yeah, it's rough. And we're not gonna try and make this thing look beautiful because as beautiful as Judy is, she's not perfect by any means. She's a work truck. And like, she needs work of her own. I mean, 25 years old. So this thing, I don't really need to make it perfect. I just want to change the color because it's like, it sticks out, obviously, this blue topper on my black truck. Um, now, there is the clear coat. is obviously cracked. It's peeling pretty bad. Um, I'm, I'm really, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in a palm sander, and I'm just going to try and smooth that out and knock off all the loose stuff. I doubt I'll be able to get rid of that ridge because I mean let's be honest it's probably a pretty thick it's a pretty thick clear coat and I, I, I doubt I'm going to be able to get rid of it so it's probably still going to be there. I'm just going to try and knock it down so it doesn't want to peel any further um, and then uh, we're going to tape clean everything up tape off the windows and we're just going to bomb this thing like I said spray bomb it. Um, most important is the sides the top is less important uh, you know so uh, but definitely got to get the sides uh, really well, and then hopefully if I got enough time, I'd really love to scratch off this Chrysler Corporation logo on the back window. Maybe put a how fast, maybe put a how fast logo. Mm, I like that idea. I mean, we might do that. Not the how fast logo, not today. But definitely get rid of the Chrysler Corporation.
uh, top scuffed up with like a 120 and took down a lot of the, almost all of the um, clear coat that was chipping. But like I said, it's not going to be perfect by any means. This is just a quick spray bomb to get this thing the right color. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get the hose, I'm going to spray this thing down, and then I'm going to hit it all with like a thousand grit just around the areas that I couldn't give it the palm sander just to try and put a little bit of a scuff on it and uh, roughen it up for the paint. And then I'll spray it down, down one more time and then we'll clean it off really well and then we'll tape up the windows and we'll paint it. Bam, just like that. Everything's taped up, everything's dried off, everything's sanded down. There's a couple spots on this that are still not perfect, but they're on the roof, and like I said, the sides are really what I care the most about, but I'm gonna hit this thing with some spray paint now, and uh, I, don't, I didn't do a great job, I, I ran out of paper, so I'm just gonna be real careful around the back window. Unfortunately, it's kind of breezy today. Oh, I'm gonna wait for a lull, and then I'm gonna start painting. Starting to look much better, much more presentable. You know? I'm almost, I'm almost happy with that. I wish I, I wish I had one more can of paint just to go over the top again because I really just stretched it out just to make sure it got coverage. But, um, you know, I'm happy with that. That's a, that's a win in my books right there. Black. It's black. It's not blue anymore. So, uh, I'm going to do the most satisfying part. Now I'm gonna peel all the tape. Doesn't that look so much better? It's like that Chrysler logo on there. So, cap, I'd say done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some stuff. You can, I don't know if you guys can see through the, some of the weather stripping is kind of falling down inside there. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get to that later once it's back on the truck and it's easier to get to. Uh, but the problem is getting it back on the truck. <laughs> Now, obviously, you saw I had to wrangle the boys up, and that's a, they're a long way from here now. Uh, so the question is, how do I get this back onto Judy? If you guys have any tricks, if anyone has any tricks on how to get an eight-foot topper onto the back of your massive truck without any help from anybody but yourself, definitely please leave a comment down below or a link to a video or something, because I really could use some, some ideas or some help. So that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. I'm very happy that we got this done. Like I said, it's not it's not beautiful, but it's definitely at least black now and kind of matches the truck. Um, I feel a lot better. Um, it looks, you know, let's just, let's just say it doesn't look great, but it looks better than it did. And what did it take me? A couple hours? No big deal, right? Much better. But leave a comment down below if you have a clue on or like some kind of trick on how to get this thing onto the back of Judy by myself. 
Okay, guys. I know I mentioned we're gonna uh, we're gonna pull apart the brakes, but we're gonna save that till next week. I'm gonna lift up the car, pull the rear passenger side tire off, and take a look at that brake rotor and hat that are on there, and make sure I get the right one on order from All Star. So we'll do that next week. And on top of that, we're gonna move all this stuff over that way. We're gonna move this table out. We're gonna put a couch in HQ here because I spend so much time in here. Might as well be comfortable. And uh, you know, I think it's about time we put the uh, you know make this place a little bit more livable as opposed to just working space. Now, as far as how fast trivia goes, last week's question was a bit of an easier, well, I thought it was a bit of an easier one, but some of the younger viewers probably would have a harder time with it. But you guys who are experienced and who love 90s, 80s, and 90s uh, TV shows probably got this one pretty easily. So the question for how fast trivia last week was, who was the original voice of Kit in Knight Rider? Your options were A, William Daniels, B, David Hasselhoff, C, Robin Williams, or D, William Shatner. The correct answer was William Daniels, and that was a trick question. They put Hasselhoff in there to try and throw you off, but uh, some of you guys, no, I don't think any of you were tricked by Yale got it right. So um, I got another one, 80s, 90s trivia, car related. Let's see if you can get it for this week's question. This week's question is, which 1985 film gave a starring role to a DeLorean car? Is it A, Pretty in Pink? Is it B, Back to the Future? C, Breakfast Club? or D, Mad Max. I look forward to hearing you guys' comments and questions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you get a chance, hit that notification bell. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you want to get in touch with me, you can get me at howfast10 at gmail.com, or you can write to me at how underscore underscore fast on Instagram. You get inside scoops on what's happening here at HQ. Uh, so catch up with the build, catch up with the cars. I'll catch up with you guys next time you find out how fast we can make this car go.